Hello everyone, my name is Andre Fernandez. I'm a research scientist here at Zimmer and Peacock in Norway. Today I will do a small demonstration on uh, how to uh, test our EC flex with together with our ZP micro needle air ray sensor. So the first thing you need to do is to grab one of the EC flexes, of course, get one EC flex. You'll need to power the EC flex about three volts. In this case, I have soldered the flexible battery to it and once you have power you connect your our zp uh, micro needle array sensor you see you have two micro needle arrays on the bottom there are the working electrodes on the top left corner you have a counter electrode and on the top right corner you have a reference electrode so once this is done you then need to to use the software the bluetooth readout platform software developed by zimmer and peacock so in this case, we we'll basically need to scan your device and then double click on the device's name in order to connect. This is a chrono amperometry that we are demonstrating here. At this moment, the cell is dry, so it's showing zero microamps. And, um, and so it's showing the current versus time, which is basically the same process for the glucose sensor. Uh, so in this case, the first thing I will do in order to demonstrate different steps uh, is that I will add, in order to create a cell, I need the electrodes to be wet. So I'll have to add a phosphate buffer solution to the electrode array. And normally about 300 microliters will be enough to wet all the electrodes and create then an electrochemical cell. So. Uh, I'm going to add 100 microliter steps. So first I add 100 microliters, then I add another 100 microliters, and finally another 100 microliters. So this once if if the electrodes are dry, you might be it's quite they are quite hydrophobic, and so it might take a bit of time. Uh, it, it might be difficult to actually create a good contact between all the electrodes, then you just add more solution. In this case, you see on the software, you see a typical chronoamperometry curve where we, we start, we see the double layer capacitance effects where we start at a, a higher current and then it, there's an ionic rearrangement between the electrode and the solution and it will stabilize at a lower current value. So once this is done, uh, we are going add to add, since we are dealing with uh, platinum uh, microneedle arrays, we are going to add uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, small steps, about 20 micromolar, or, um, about uh, 20 microliters of 500 micromolar hydrogen peroxide solution in PBS. And by doing this, we will, we will probably see a step increase. So I'm gonna pipette into the solution and you see a small step increase in the reading. I will now try to make a bigger step to be more noticeable to the viewer. So I'm gonna add more solution. And by doing that, you see a clear step there. So um, this is how we test our microneedle electrode arrays and uh, using our EC flex. I hope this video can demonstrate. I will just before ending the video, I will just would like to make a reminder that all the settings are uploaded upon connection. However, you are a person, a user will be able to change the bias voltage, uh, the input load. You, we could change the gain uh, in order to translate uh, uh, more accurate or more visible step response as well. You could change the virtual ground. So uh, the settings can be changed. You also have an option in case of losing connection to device to reboot the device. And, uh, and But by doing so, you will need to rescan the device again in order to find it. So um, any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.